What is going on, people? The internet is me, Devilman, here with some gameplay footage from Payday 2 with my buddy Lord Sun Quan. Want to talk to you guys today about uh, what's going on in life for Devilman. Right now, I'm trying to create a new intro for my videos. My After Effects skills are a bit rusty, so it might take a couple of videos out there so I get something down and something that says screams Devilman. Moving on to the PlayStation 4. Um, I think this is going to be a little bit more rough because I don't have a recorder that does HDMI. I have an old uh, HD, whatever it is, how pouch. It uses component cables, so I'm going to have to pick up one of those gamer ones. And apparently uh, the guys at Sony don't want you recording from their HDMI ports. So we'll see how that works. Apparently there's like a workaround where you can get like a DVI switch or point or something. And it just strips down the embed so you can record. So we'll see how all that goes. Um, not only that, but they since they don't have those uh, red, white, and yellows or the component cables, which are red, blue, green, and like the red and whites, I don't know how I'm going to get my turtle beaches to work. Um, I saw on the internet where there was some converters for optical out to the red and whites. Uh, I might have to pick up one of those and see if those work. If anybody's had any experience with them, please let me know in the comments. I would love to know before wasting money, or attempting to waste money, that I probably don't have. Also, I know a lot of people, um, they just, uh, they don't have the money to spend, and, like, the receivers, they might, there might be old receivers that just kick ass that don't have the optical out, so please let us know in the comment section if you have these things to work. Moving on to the topic of renting and using games, like buying used games, and online passes. Um, this is something I really just don't like. Um, maybe I'm just too hardcore consumerative, where old school gaming was like, hey, you get a game, you get everything you paid for. That's cool. But um, I, I just feel like if your game's a good game, then it won't be, you won't find it used, because nobody will want to turn it in. You know, it'll be that good, where it's like, hey, I'm not going to buy it used. And, you know, by the time people start actually like, hey, I need a price drop, it'll price drop on its own, and so you don't need those online codes. Um, I know I really want to play Saints Row 4. I was a big fan of Saints Row 3, um, but I can only redbox it. I don't have the money to go out and buy it outright. So if I want to play online co-op, I have to buy a $10 code. Well, I don't really have $10 either too much to spend on it after I'm just spending 10 to $20 running it. So I'm missing out on a chunk of the game. So I'm still debating on whether I'm going to get it based on principles, just rent it on principle. It's like, hey, uh, I'm still like the codes. I know EA has uh, said they were moving away from those passes, which means like Origin is too, since they're like the same company. So um, we'll see. Moving on to other news, I don't know if you guys have heard, but um, Battlefield, uh, EA, and um, Activision, they're bringing out a upgrade program for like people who buy their Battlefield and Call of Duty on the PS3 and Xbox One, uh, 360. So you can like upgrade it for like 10 bucks or something on the PS4 and uh, Xbox One, the Xbox shit. I'm a PlayStation. I'm not a fanboy, but I'm just I'm against Xbox One policies, and that's I'll save that for another episode. But um, anyways, they'll have an upgrade. I guess they'll make it like 10 dollars, and you just pick up the digital version of the game uh, for the new system for cheap, so you don't have to buy the same game twice, I guess. And they're also adding, what is it, a, a, a transfer system where, like, for, I know for Battlefield's got, I think uh, Call of Duty's gonna have it, where um, it'll either be like a one-time thing or a constant transfer where your accounts are linked, where you can play Battlefield right off the bat, right, for, right from launch on, what is it, October 19th or something. And when the PlayStation comes out, you can get Battlefield 4 and you can have all your same stuff. You don't have to start from scratch. Um, I thought that was a really cool thing. That was a pretty cool feature. Um, tell me what you guys feel about that in the comments below. Do you guys think that, screw that, you guys should have to start from scratch because it's a new system, no freebies for you, or do you think, uh, you, you know, that's my stuff, I've paid for it. Uh, just give me my stats, give me my stuff that I work so hard for. Let us know in the comments below. Finally, I'd like to talk to you about uh, Payday 2, or Payday 2. Um, I don't know if you guys have played it, you're watching this footage, so you have some sort of interest in it, or maybe just have interest in me. But uh, I find this game pretty fun. Um, this is kind of like below the radar, I did not even know this existed 
until it was already out. Like, there was no advertising for it. Like, I vaguely remember the first one, and just by the commercials. Like, I just think I remember the commercials for it. Because I know it wasn't out for PlayStation. Um, and so it kind of just, like, blew my mind. I started watching videos of this, and I was like, this is going to be pretty cool. But, um, let me know your guys' opinion of it. Um... I did, I'm pretty sure I'm playing the post-patch patch version and recording it. The pre-patch version, you were just fucked. You had to play by yourself because every room you tried to join said it was full, even though it was empty. But um, post-patch, it seems pretty decent. I can usually always get into a room or host a room. And uh, I'm pretty far into it. I, I do like the progression. Um, I, I do like the weapons. I was kind of disappointed because I don't think I got a new mask until... Like level 30, but like everybody else is getting all these masks and shit, <laughs> and I was just looking like this dumb fool. But um, I don't even think I got decent weapons until like 30. But now I'm like almost 50, and I got billions of dollars of cash, and nothing to do with it. Um, I, there's there's like two sets of cash. There's an offshore account, and there's like on hand cash, which you use to buy like weapons and perks and shit, and <clears throat> Apparently they're getting ready to put something out so the offshore account can be used to like beef up your safe house, which probably nobody ever goes into. But um, other than that, it's a pretty fun game. Communication is pretty necessary. Um, if I were to say anything, don't get the P90. Um, I always liked the P90 because I was a geek. I loved Stargate and I loved like the P90s that they use. And that's my favorite gun in lots of games. Even I think in Battlefield, it's one of my favorite guns. You know, I never use it. But in this one, it's just it's so out of control. Um, they really uh, uh, the gunplay. It feels like they use real recoil. They don't use like this random spray pattern. Like it feels like uh, whichever way your gun's pointed is where the bullets coming out. And it's pretty hard. To control, especially on a controller, but on a mouse and keyboard, I hear it's pretty decent. Uh, just burst a lot. Um, I did notice something post patch is that there's these enemies. We call them yellow jackets. They're these heavy body armored motherfuckers with these white caps that are goddamn invincible. And I don't say like, oh, they just take a lot of bullets to to bring down. No, it's not that. It's what it is. Is uh, you'll be point blank on them or you'll be close enough to where your bullets should be hitting them like there's no reason for your bullets to not hit them and you wouldn't get shit you wouldn't even get shit markers okay you, you'd not get a hit marker so you'd spend like all your ammo just trying to get at least one or two hit markers on these motherfuckers and you you wouldn't even get a hit marker you'd, there's like no way you'd miss but you wouldn't get a hit marker and they're just they're just goddamn invincible and I hate those fuckers I'd rather have these juggernauts, I guess they're called bulldozers in, the, in this game, they're damn juggernauts. They're full of body armor with full head armor and stuff, and those are at least easy to take down. I mean, I usually have a, a bulldog with me, which is like the 44 Magnum, and I put all six rounds into him, and usually he drops, because it's got the max damage. But, um, like I said, if you haven't played it, definitely, definitely at least try to rent it if you could find it. If you can't, um, it's only 40 bucks on the PSN store. I, I'm pretty sure it's it's worth it to me the 40 bucks it's definitely worth it go donate some plasma like I do and get the 40 bucks if you need to um, <clears throat> if you haven't played this one this one is Watch Dogs the very f first episode or whatever this just a two-parter the first day you start in a truck and you have to escape with this cocaine and you make the escape and then the day two is the payday and you have to bring it to the docks and a boat will come up like twice or three times. And uh, you have to just throw it on the boat. You can only throw four on the boat at once, and he has to come back. It's pretty fun. Um, I did notice that this is very much like a wave-based shooter. Like, it's just like, hey, the cops are coming again. Hey, the cops are coming again. And they're backing off. And they're coming again. And, I mean, it's, it's fun to a point. Uh, there's times where it gets kind of tedious and boring. You just have to play, like, a really quick one just to see if you can, you know, stealth it. Um... If you can stealth some of these, that's props to you guys. That takes patience that I just don't have. And I believe that was a shit marker right there. One of those douchebags. hate those guys. 
Anyways, uh, I'm going to leave this guy's to move the rest of the video to you guys to watch. I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll be back later.
wall on me. Come with me. Move it. Shield there. Yeah! We pulled it off! Fantastic! The coke is shipped out. Well done, sailors. Go get your payday. The cocaine is in the hands of the distributors now, and all is well. Enjoy the fruits of your labor. I am pleased with this outcome.